Our religious sisters are the flowers of our diocese. In essence, when you look at them, you're looking at somebody who's given her whole life to Jesus. They love Jesus and they want to give Jesus. And there's a sense of renewal, especially when you have a house of formation here. It's the first one outside of Iraq. For us, and it happens in our backyard. We're getting to our community and we want them to know us too. You know, there's so much mystery behind like religious life and we don't want it to be that way. The sisters have really helped us understand the role of women uh, in the church especially. The vocation of a priest and the vocation of a sister are different vocations. One person asked me if I can baptize their child. This was before I was entering. I was like, not a priest. I'm not going to be a priest. <laughs> I cannot celebrate the sacraments. Um, it's similar to the priest vocation. It's like a firefighter and a police officer. We were both called to save souls, but we, we save souls in a different way. The priests have to be in the world to grab souls out of the devil's hands. We snatch souls out of the devil's hands by our sacrifice, by the way we love our sisters, uh, by the way we live community life, by the way we do penance. That's, that's the kind of spirituality the church needs that men are not amazing at but women are wonderful at. they can see the beauty of God and his call of men and women to both completely consecrate themselves to serve God and his people. Bishop Francis um, for me personally is a big blessing for the diocese of course he's a huge blessing he meets with us as a community so all of our other sisters that are in Michigan um, we meet with him once a month as well he celebrates mass for us so it's really beautiful. You see a priest and you're like, oh, you see a nun, you're like, oh. It's a deeper sense of commitment, you know, and they're dressed in their wedding dresses, which is what their veils are, and this is what their habits are, that's their wedding dress. So they're always a constant reminder of they're married to Christ. You know, there's so many, so many, so many girls that I know that um, they have a vocation to the religious life, that they don't have their parents' support. Take that first step and come and visit with us and have a conversation with Sister Angela, or to not be afraid to ask questions. If you come here for an appointment and you have a conversation or come pray with us or have a meal with us is that we're not going to hold you captive and put a habit on you, you know. Um, it's just a conversation. A girl, when she wants to come to, to be a sister, she has to test herself. Many of them came in and left. So it's okay, nothing wrong with that. You, they come and try it, they find that family life, is, they can serve God much better, it's good. Sometimes we get caught up of, I wanna know, am I gonna get married? Am I gonna be a nun? Am I gonna be a priest? Don't worry about that. He has that all figured out. The worry that we need to be is how can I love him more and how can I glorify him more? It's a two deal package. If he's coming, he's bringing your vocation with him, you know, because he wants you to live out your vocation more than you. God is the focus and God is the center and we're following his will for us. Like, he has called our parents to a vocation, but he's also called us to a different vocation. People think that once their daughter or a girl, like once, once she enters, like she's going to be completely cut off from her family, and I think that's it's so far from the truth. Yes, we see our families. Um. <laughs> a vocation gives glory to God, joy to your life, and beauty to the world. Just have that intimate relationship with Jesus Christ first. And I promise, I promise the vocation comes with him. Those graces that radiate out of the convents for us, which we'll never see or never know until we get to heaven, that God will say because of these sisters, because of your daughters to that parent that gets to heaven, because of your daughter, this is what she did. Thank you for your vocation. 
I said that on my ordination because I really feel like our sisters are spiritual mothers to us. We might not see what our sacrifice looks like now, where our prayers are going now, but I know Mary will show this is, this is what you giving up the world did for your community. They brought this, this uh, dynamic of showing what radical gifts of self uh, to Jesus looks like. This is not scary and the Lord provides like all the graces that we need in this vocation, you know.